Hey everybody, it's CJ. So I wanted to go ahead and go over something that um, there's only going to be about 10 days left on this when this publishes, which will be tomorrow, and, well, on the 4th. Um, and that is the base system. Now, the base system is being made to Kickstarter by DFA Miniatures. And it's going to be a little slow because I'm going to have to convert some currencies as we do this. But I wanted to go ahead and kind of go over this with y'all because this is really, really, really good. Um, and we'll be using our Kickstarter page to help me navigate here. So what this essentially is, if you've ever played uh, Mech Assault 2, um, it had some buildings in it. And these look a lot like them. I don't know if they're direct renders off of the, the uh, models in the game. But they look amazing. And, um, you know, this is something that I would really want, you know, I really want to mention and talk about. So, um, you can find them if you, if you search uh, DFA Miniatures or Base, B-A-S-E, with a period after each letter, um, you'll find it on Kickstarter. So first of all, a little bit about it. It's funded in about 12 hours. Um, <clears throat> and what it is, it's a modular system for uh, 3D tabletop terrain for the games like Battletech and stuff like that. Um, shoot, I'm trying to think. Drop Zone Commander might work with it. It's a little out of scale. But basically, any six millimeter futuristic sci fi. So, uh, Battletech, um, X Wing sort of works with it if you're doing a ground type game. Um, what's the other one? Warhammer Epic, which I heard may or may not be coming back out. So, Warhammer 40k Epic. So, you know, I want to go over the pledge levels here and, and let you know what they have available. So, starting at the 10, 10 pound pledge level. Um, and 10 pounds, you're looking at, you know, I got to keep this closer. Let me close all these between them. There we go. All right. So you're looking about 1350 us dollars is what's called the staging post. What this gives you is two barracks, a watchtower and a resource building and access to add-ons. It doesn't give you any credit towards add-ons or anything like that. Just, just access to them. And after that, you get into the next level up, which... Okay, let me use that. Cool. Which is Outpost Builder. Outpost Builder costs 30 pounds. So you're looking at roughly 40, uh, about $40. American 41 bucks um, and that gives you basically $35 access to any of the add-ons you don't get anything base with it um, well you do I'll go over that in a second because there's a couple freebies are given away with stuff but you get $35 35 pounds in credit towards add-ons uh, so pretty much it lets you build a base you know as you like uh, and that is the outpost builder and then you get into base builder, which is 50 pounds. So you're looking at about $68. Um, at least right now, based on exchange rates. I don't know if they'll go up or down or what, but anyway. And that 50 pounds gets you 60 pounds credit for add-ons. So it's kind of like, you know, you pay a little bit, you get a little bit extra. Um, then we get into another one that actually gives you access, gives you items and access. Uh, this is the first one that does that. This is the Interstellar Communications Bundle. Uh, this one costs 80 pounds. So now we're looking at about 107 in U.S. dollars. It also gives you 35 pounds credit um, towards add-ons, and you, with this you get a Class B communication station. Uh, and two resource buildings and access to the add-ons. Uh, the next one up after that is the Interstellar Comms Base, which is 100 pounds. 
which puts us at 135 bucks. And that one comes with the Class B comm station, two resource buildings, a fire control building, and a barracks. And you also get 45 pounds in credit. So that, that allows you to, uh, to build up something a little, a little more sizable. Um, kind of, you know, you're starting to get into being able to cover like a four by four pretty well. Um, then you have what's called, what's called the strategic command base. This is 150 pounds. So American dollars here, we're looking at 202. And you get a class A comp station, communication station, one headquarters building and one fire control building. And you get 65 pounds in credit um, towards add-ons on this. So you're getting into some pretty, you know, pretty sizable amount of stuff. The next one from that, it's a little bit of a jump. It goes from 150 pounds to 225. And this is the command center base. This is what I'm looking at doing myself. Um, with this, you get a class A communication station, an HQ building, a fire control building, a mecha bay, which if you ever played a uh, mech assault, it is the mech repair facility and it comes, it can be set up in the closed or the open position. So when there's nothing in there, you can actually lower the, the gantry down. Uh, one generator, a warehouse, one vehicle hangar, two barracks, and two resource buildings. Um, you also, with this, get 95 pounds credit for add-ons, which doesn't seem like a lot at first, but in reality, that's a pretty good bundle right there. Um, after that, you have the Planetary Command, which, once again, it's another pretty big jump. Um, you're going up... Oh, hold up. I forgot to mention. 225. So, the uh, the one before that, for Planetary Command, um, Command Center Base is about 303. Planetary Command is 500 pounds. So you're getting into some pretty expensive stuff here now. 500 pounds is 673 US. You also get 50 pounds credit for add for add-ons. Um, this one comes with a Class A communication station, two communication station resource buildings. They link into it instead of being separate. Uh, one headquarters, one fire control, two mech bays, a generator, two warehouses, a vehicle hangar, two barracks four resource buildings, two watchtowers, a geodesic dome, a security outpost, and two custom buildings. And what that's referring to is that you get to design um, a building. You get two of them, which is really cool. And I think that one's sold out. And then finally, they have something called the Black Friday Special Planetary Command Extra Large. This one tops out at a whopping thousand pounds. So you're looking at $1,300 US. So this comes with a lot of stuff. Um, I wish I had a lot more money because I would do this. You're looking at a Class A communication station, two communication station resource buildings, a wall and fortification system, uh, which costs about 65 pounds, two faction sets of your choice, which the faction sets are... Um, like the command building, the fire control, stuff like that, but they're geared towards like the Federated Sons, the, uh, the Steiner, House Steiner, House Leao, and so forth. Uh, do, 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 do. Where were we? Class A comms, two comm stations, wall and, walls and fortification system, um, the tank farm system, which I forget how much that costs. I want to say it's about 60 as well. It's in pounds. Two base systems of your choice. That's a lot. Uh, four mech bays, a generator, two warehouses, two vehicle hangers, two barracks, eight resource buildings, six watchtowers, a geodesic dome, a weapons plant, two security outposts, two orbital cannons, and two custom buildings, which are you design a building and make two of them, with access to another... 50 pounds of add-ons. So that, that's a lot of stuff. 
Um, let's see, as far as the free stuff, so the first 100 backers got a security building. The LRM pop-up turret set uh, comes free for all backers at base builder and above. Uh, a sensor tower set is free with all faction building sets. So pretty much you can choose a faction building set when you're doing the, uh, when, when, when they finally get to the point where you're ending your Kickstarter and they, they get to where you're putting it together. Um, you can choose what faction buildings you want. So you get two sensor towers. Uh, yeah, let's see. The security outpost free the first hundred backers who pledge 10 or more. Uh, they're a two pound value. Um, they also have the Interstellar Comms Resource Building, which is a Kickstarter exclusive. Um, I don't know if it, they cost six pounds a piece. I don't know if they're really worth it. Then you get into the uh, you get into the add-ons. Um, you know, everything ranges from about I think the lowest price one is two pounds. The highest price at twenty pounds is the Mech Bay. And you have like headquarters, and it's the generic stuff. Um, turret control, resource buildings, hardened resource buildings, vehicle hangers, barracks, stuff like that. Uh, let's see, the Class B comp set, which you can get by itself, runs 45 pounds. The Class A comp set, which is a lot bigger, runs 85 pounds. And it has a bunch of add-ons that range from about 2 pounds up to 6.5 pounds. Um, actually, up to 11 pounds. Oh, no. Take it back up to 13 because there's a mech elevator, which looks pretty cool actually. It's an underground mech hanger and all that. Um, let's see. Then you have the faction box sets. So far, what's been unlocked are the Federation, the Confederation, Federated Sons, Capellan Confederation, the Lyran Alliance, which is Alliance. Um, I think the clans have been unlocked, they just haven't updated this. And you get one headquarters, a fire control, a sensor control, a spotlight control, and a gate control in your faction's, um, you know, their aesthetic. Uh, you also have the clans, which their buildings are bigger, so it's 75 pounds instead. Uh, the tank farm comes as bits, so does the wall and gates. Uh, the pop-up turrets run about six pounds a piece, and there's an orbital cannon for twelve and a half. Uh, the towers, the sensor and spotlight towers, are three for ten. Uh, yeah, the tank farm runs sixty pounds. There's a wall and fortification box set, which isn't bad. It comes with a bunch of pop-up turrets and a bunch of walls, and it runs about sixty. So, I mean, that's about where they're at with it right now. Um, yeah, they've unlocked the Alliance buildings, unlocked the Invaders, which are clan. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. There's a starport base system and a pumping station that's still locked. Um, those two are pretty massive. And then there's some social stretch goals. There's a fixed orbital cannon. That's, that's been unlocked. That was unlocked at 75 backers. And if they can hit 100 backers, they unlock the resource storage, uh, which are kind of like extended resource buildings. Let's see. Shipping. At about the 100 pledge level, you're looking at like 20 pounds to North America. So you figure if you're pledging about like 225 or so, you're looking at probably about 50 pounds shipping. Um... Let's see. And I mean, that's about it. Like I said, this is being done by a company called DFA Miniatures. And from what it looks like, they wanted to get into this because they were doing um, 3D terrain. And in doing so, what ended up happening, it looks like they just kind of ran into the issue of not being able to find what they wanted, which I can completely understand, and which I think is why there's so much demand for this. Um, so... Yeah, if you, uh, you know, if you go ahead and, and check them out on Kickstarter, they also have a Facebook page. And, yeah, 
Yeah, they're in Orkney, uh, United Kingdom. So, it looks like here, let's see, do, 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 do. Yeah, they used to work under the name Mechanized Design Works, where uh, they were doing 3D printed wargaming miniatures through Shapeways. And it looks like they've pretty much decided to go on their own. Now, this stuff, the, the prototypes are 3D printed. Um, the actual models are re uh, cast in resin. So the actual models, they end up being, you know, nice hard resin. They're not going to damage easily. And, um, the only downside to this is that I'm, you know, I'm going to have to wait till May, I think it is, before these get to me. So there's that, which kind of sucks. <laughs> But, on the other hand, I mean, this is an amazing system, and I encourage you, if you play Battletech or you play any 6mm tabletop games, please, you know, get involved with this. Uh, this is something that I think is really good for the hobby. It's really good for the community, uh, because it gives us something, you know, something that's not, you know, it's not the cardboard buildings from, from Drop Zone Commander, which, mind you, are nice, and we use them a lot. But it doesn't have the doesn't have like a military base feel or anything like that. And you know, with this, you can actually get something that feels like a military facility, some a base that you're defending or something like that. So it's not just a generic, you know, generic city here and go about your fight. It is actually a full blown. Now I'm making hand gestures, and I don't know why because you can't see them. Um, it is a full-blown battlefield that, that is almost custom-tailored to a game like Battletech. So, until next time, I will see you all later. And, uh, like I said, check these guys out. And, you know, see if you, if you like it, pledge. Uh, you know, and... Hope everything works out well for these guys, and y'all have a great day. Later.